we're going to install the Dratus framework. And of course, to begin, we're just going to go pick up the Dratus framework. And while we're going there, I'll explain what the purpose of doing that is. The Dratus framework is actually an organizational tool for putting information together in one place. So as we're going through a penetration test and doing ethical hacking, there are a number of tools that we'll be using. And of course, all of these different tools will provide output. In addition to that, we'll be doing a lot of manual testing and we'll want to make notes of the different things that we find and be able to keep those organized somewhere. So Dratus actually provides us the ability to organize all of this information in one place. And we can not only import the output from the various tools, so you can see here it supports Burp Scanner, Nessus, Nexpose, Nikto, Nmap, OpenVAS, OSVDB, Retina, SureCheck, and a number of other tools that are pretty common in doing penetration testing or ethical hacking. So we've got this Dratus framework and it gives us the ability to import all of the data from all of these. And as it says here, it provides a centralized repository of information. So we know that what we have done and what we need to do. And along the way, of course, we can keep notes in terms of what we've done and where we're going and the things that we actually want to focus in on. Some of these tools can provide a lot of information and so it's really helpful to have one place to keep that information so that we can be able to reference things easily and having one place to put all of this data gives us the ability to cross-reference information as well. So I'm here at the Dratus Framework website and you can see on the right hand side there's a download link and we're just going to download the installer for Windows in this case. Now Dratus is based on Ruby and so it's easy to install this on Linux in addition to Windows. So we're just going to download Dratus here and then we'll do the install afterwards. Again, to be clear why we're doing this, as we go through the different scenarios here and look at the different tools, we're gonna to be generating a lot of output and we really want one place to keep that output so that we can look at it quickly and easily. We don't have to go digging through different directories perhaps or different interfaces in order to find the information. So Nessus, for example, or Nexpose, both have web interfaces and you can go there and look up the information for the scans that you have done with those particular tools. But that's not really that convenient because now I've got to go to Nessus and then I've got to go check Nmap and then I've got to go check Burp Suite and I've got to go look in a lot of different places for information. Dratus gives us the ability to put all of the information in one place and of course it can parse the output from a lot of these different tools and put it into this framework in a coherent way so we can better organize it and see what's actually going on. So the framework here is just about completed and we're going to move forward in another lesson here and actually do the install.